Sean, you've been playing a lot more in the last couple games. Can you just talk about that and maybe what kind of patience it's taken this season to, to watch a lot of these games from the bench? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been frustrating. Uh, you know, we're all competitors. We all want to be on the floor and help our team win. Um, but I think Coach Mack gave me an opportunity, and it went well the first time. So, you know, as long as I keep performing, I think that, you know, my, my role will only get better for me. So. Do you feel confident, like, on both, you know, defense and offense, or is there a particular area that you still want to keep really improving in? Uh, yeah, I definitely want to keep improving with my post defense. Um, you know, I go against Jalen, Matt, and James every day. Uh, those are three great post players, so it's just – it's, it's kind of tough to see in practice, you know, how much I make strides because sometimes they do still score and stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's helped me out a lot in games. Um, but, you know, I still don't want to be frustrated like that in practice. So. JP, a lot of key games coming down the stretch for you guys. Do you feel like this is really a chance for you guys to prove yourselves and prove you guys belong in the tournament and prove that you guys are a legit team coming down the stretch? Yeah, definitely. I think we need to take care of business. These these next few games in conference play and then take care of UC next week. And I think we can prove that we can be a, a good seed in the NCAA tournament and make a big run. It's kind of an obvious question, but is it hard for you guys not to overlook the game Saturday because the cross-town shootout, man, is just so big? Are you guys already kind of thinking ahead of that? No, we're not. We just got to take care of tomorrow. We got to win tomorrow and then prepare the next few days and then take care of UC. Yeah, I was, I don't know what it was, like one for 18, 17 or something like that. It was pretty bad, but I just kept shooting and just concentrated on just trying to help the team out in as many ways as I can, and a few shots fell, and I, I feel more confident now. JP, can you talk about Sean a little bit and what you see at practice as he's the one against Jalen, you know, some of these veteran bigs? I mean, do you feel like he holds his own? Do you see him getting better at practice? Yeah, well, most importantly, Sean makes all the other bigs better in practice, whether it's just competing every single day, and then when he gets in the game, he performs. Like, he, he didn't play that much but the past few games, but when he got in, he had an impact right away and put up good numbers. JP, what kind of a threat does St. John pose from you guys? What does Coach kind of told you guys to be ready for uh, the game on Saturday? Um, a, lot, a lot of athletic wings. Um, they play a one-on-one -on -one style. They can get to the hoop and create their own shot. So we have to make them play against our defense, not one-on-one, -on -one, but have them see other guys on the floor and make them pass the ball and spread and play that way. How important is it for you guys to come out playing with a lot of energy? Because in some of these couple of past games at home, you know, even when you guys have won, it's been a slow start. You know, Where does that start for you guys, making sure you have the energy and you're ready for tip? It's just pre-game warm-ups, we have to have a mindset that we're going to come out right away and try and take a lead and keep the lead during the game. And I think if we all have that mindset, then we're, we're going to be fine. A question for either of you guys, but it might be too soon to say, but you won two straight. You beat the province team here. You won on the road at Marquette. Do you feel like the team is starting to gel or find its identity at this point? Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we've been gelled for a while. It's just, you know, for us, I think it really comes down to the defensive end and getting on the re uh, boards because we've been out-rebounded a few times this season, which I know is usually not a Xavier statistic that you see. Um, you know, we, we've just been really focusing on kind of cleaning everything up on the, on the defensive end. Um, we made a few changes here and there. Nothing major, though, uh, just trying to get it all together. And I think that we got these two games in a row now, and we just got to keep building off. You know, we've had some rough patches this season. We had some good patches, so we just got to – Make sure that we keep building off the good stuff. Coaches added more shooting drills in practice. Do you feel like it's helped the team? Are you personally? Yeah, well, we have a five minute shooting drill in the beginning and on one side and then the other. And it's just getting shots up. I mean, a lot of us get shots outside of practice up, but I think it's helping a lot of us. Does that surprise you, though? Because, I mean, you, you're a shooter and a lot of these guys are shooters. The fact that they practice shooting extra, does that surprise you at all? No, I think I think the elite shooters in college basketball or whatever level it is, the, the extra work that you put in is just what you're going to get out of it. Sean, I know only uh, Jalen can answer this, and you're not Jalen, but um, has there been talk in practice about him kind of just toning it down a little bit of technical foul because you know he's obviously been pretty fired up at the wrong times lately. Has Coach addressed that? Uh, yeah, he's definitely brought it up. You know, there's there's a punishment system uh, for. 
misbehavior on the court. Uh, and, you know, he, he's been subjected to it a few times. But, uh, you know, we, we keep talking to him. And the biggest thing I think we tell him is that we love his passion. We don't want him to change. He's a fiery dude. That's what we love on the court. But at the same time, if you can't control yourself in a 20-point game against Marquette, then how are you going to control yourself in a two-point game against Villanova? So. Anybody else? Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.